To other news now, artists, filmmakers were recognized at the Philam Chamber of Commerce Laurel Night. Evan Allen Basaliaje are at the scene. And there are millions of Filipinos living outside of the Philippines, with a significant number residing here in Los Angeles, recognizing the contributions of the Filipino-American community. And to promote its mission of cultivating business and entertainment sectors, the Filipino-American Chamber of Commerce of Hollywood has put together an event they've dubbed Laurel Night 2020. Our goal is to help everyone tell their story, not just Filipino Americans, but everyone of every culture to really make the entertainment industry reflect what life is like for everyone. Tonight's whole purpose was to connect all different people in the industry, whether you're a TV or film executive, chief of marketing for Marvel, or a performer, actor, writer, creator yourself. Really love to see the Philam community in positions of power, where we are the owners, creators, and executives of of businesses, right? Where we are the top execs of film, film companies, TV companies, uh, talent agencies, where we're able to help people in our community. And it's not just like a film project. Right now, I believe there are over 4 million Filipino Americans in the United States. Uh, we have been very successful in almost all fields of endeavor. Why not the entertainment industry right here in Hollywood? We have so much depth in talent here, right here in Hollywood. Uh, in front and behind the screens and I'm hoping that with this new breed of talent we could inspire more Filipino Americans uh, to consider uh, a career uh, of course here in Hollywood. Some of that talent was on display both on the big screen and in person. I'm the opening uh, comedian act of the night, so you'll get to see my stand-up. I'm Filipina, but I'm also a disabled woman. I have spina bifida and scoliosis, and stand-up comedy has really given me this platform to share my story, you know, and be vulnerable with the audience, and I can educate people on disability, and we can have a laugh together, and every time I tell my story, I heal a little bit more, you know, and I, I can hope I can heal others through laughter, too. I've had live performances before, but um, and I've performed on television, but I haven't seen myself on the big silver screen yet, so that was nice tonight. <laughs> also being recognized was Philam Creative for their work in helping artists polish their craft. We're an organization that helps the artistic and entertainment community. We're, uh, we just celebrated our 10th anniversary, so we're entering 11 years, our second decade now, of uh, helping uh, actors, filmmakers, artists to uh, get more exposure uh, in the uh, Hollywood and entertainment communities. Everybody needs a tribe in this industry because it's so difficult, so we consider ourselves part of a tribe where you can go through the ups and downs together, but then also rise together, and that's really the, what, what it's all about for us. Among the notable Filipino Americans was Apple the App of the Black Eyed Peas, who was on hand to accept the President's Choice Award for Humanitarian of the Year. Apple talked about his charitable work and about some of his ongoing projects. Right now, we got a brand new single called Ritmo, and uh, this has over uh, 400 million views. And uh, we're very thankful. Uh, to our fans and you know we've been on a break for about you know six to seven years but to have their support and to, for a song to be on number one on Latin charts we're very blessed and thankful. Talk to us a little bit about the voice Philippines I think it's a teen Philippines oh, right? Oh man I'm so excited to uh, discover new talents and also uh, coach new talents um, as, uh, as everybody know, I've discovered a young lady named Jay Ray So from The Voice Philippines first season, and now she's on stage with us. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, discovering more artists. We're looking forward to hearing more about the Apple the App Foundation. We got 15 scholars that finished schools, and now they have, um, you know, professional jobs from accounting to teacher to pilot. And we're looking to do more. Uh, build more classrooms and beyond that is uh, building the creative industry in the Philippines because uh, Filipinos are we're highly creative but we need an outlet 
and uh, entrepreneurship and value and business to be able to have an outlet uh, and to uh, get our products or our ideas to fruition. Solidarity and fair representation are certainly important for any group designed to work on level playing fields. Tonight's event served to spotlight the difference makers who strive towards that goal by celebrating the rich culture of the Filipino American community. In Glendale, California, Evan Allen, Eagle News, for 1 with 25.